So I have a shoe catalog template folder. Um, I'm going to give this to everybody so they can, whenever they get their shoes uh, rolling along, they can drop their stuff in there. I put together this as a sample layout just for the shoe that I was going to do, um, which is Nike. I have here uh, folios for you already built. I put spring 2016 in there. I have all the type uh, laid out. Um, one of the things that um, I wanted to show you here is I have the hero shoe images. Uh, I have um, uh, these on separate separate uh, layers. So I have the shoe layer. This is one Photoshop file. So I'm going to go up to the links and show you. This is one one file. This whole entire thing is one file. And so this shoe layer is turned on in this file, on, on this version of it, and then uh, the shoe layer is turned off in this version, and the shadow is turned on. Um, so you can, so this, you know, this is pretty much built for you. If you, um, I included the shoe demo file as well, um, just so you can see how it's layered out and everything. And I have uh, this um, uh, this shadow set to multiply, so a little bit, a little piece of that background can come through. And it's so subtle on mine because this is mostly a white background that you can't hardly really notice unless you zoom in insanely close. Um, but should you have a background that's um, uh, in some kind of color tone or um, a little bit busier than this? Um, you know, that, that shadow layer is uh, really going to um, show pretty well. Uh, also, I have these set in paragraph and character style. So everyone's familiar with InDesign here um, in some way, shape, or form. Is that correct? Okay. So um, when you open up this paragraph styles palette, you can see that there's basically three styles. We have the header paragraph style. We have the body copy paragraph style. And we have the color options paragraph style. Um, color options really just speaks to the color type of the shoe over here. And you don't have to worry about that now. All I need you to worry about is what your styles are going to look like. So. What typeface are you going to use for your shoe brand um, that's, going to, that's going to make it look the best, most professional? Finally, there's an example of character styles. So in my character style palette, I'll pull it out. And the character style that I have here is applied to this piece right here, this shoe style number. And really, it just makes this... Uh, uh, makes the it's applied originally this character style is going to be this where it's a shoe name and it's really huge um, that's the paragraph style but the character style isolates a piece of uh, copy within a paragraph style to change that style and that's a character style so that's the different paragraph style will apply to the entire paragraph and you can have a style applied to an entire paragraph but if you want this little piece of copy within this paragraph to be different, you're going to apply a character style to that. Okay. Um, so when you go in and change your styles, I'll do um, this header style first for my. I'll just double click it and I'll go into basic character formats. And then I'm going to just pick a font here, something like that. So you can see that the, enti the entire catalog is going to change. That style is going to change throughout. Um, you can do um, advanced formats. You can skew the type, which I wouldn't you know, necessarily recommend. I'd recommend choosing an italic uh, face for the font. Um, you can indent it. You can basically do. Anything you can do in the regular type menu um, in InDesign within that style. Um, apply it to the style and it can apply to the entire catalog. So 
really that's how I, how I want you guys to change your styles because it's better than going to each paragraph and changing it manually. It'll, it takes five seconds rather than five hours. Um, and then same goes for uh, body copy style and then the color option style. And then of course your shoe number, I'm sure you're not going to want Helvetica new because you've probably seen that a million times. Uh, so you might want to change that character style too. Um, let's change the color. So now I have magenta for my number style there, for my characters. All right.